Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Oh, welcome back to the channel. We got some things to talk about. Okay, we got Sheree and... Kenya and Sheree's seamstress or the uh, uh, person that takes care of um, the models and the, the clothing. Or, I don't know what she's doing. But Kenya was getting her uh, sold up, meaning getting her straight. And the little seamstress lady or whoever's helping Sheree with her fashions, she got right back with uh, Kenya. I said, oh, Lord, the help person with the owner, the help is person with the, the guest. I can't take it. It's just been too much. But instead of me telling you all, I'll let y'all hear, and we'll have conversation after that um, has gone. This is how I normally do my fashion shows, and I'm sure if you... So the wrong way. No, it's not the wrong so way. So is it possible that we can face, like, a runway so we can actually see the walk? Just like the hundreds of auditions that we always see. Can you? Well, I'm just saying, I don't get this. I will move some chairs, no problem. Well, damn! I knew Kenya was going to throw shade, but we are just getting started. How do you come to an audition showing your coochie crack? That is inappropriate. That is highly inappropriate, and I'm offended because I don't want to see coochie crack. They need to be real models. You have to have a budget for real models. Oh. Well, what do you need, Rowan? What budget do you need for models? So I, we can get models anywhere from 250 to 500 for the day if you want. That's for And those are real models? Those are some real models from some agencies here in Atlanta. You gotta call on people, Sheree. I know, but it's too late for that. It's not too late. It is. I for real spent a million dollars just trying to get these samples. So what but I did a million dollars, the bitch. Fabric. It should be on a plane here. If Sheree spends a million. Now I'm with Kenya. You you saying you spent a a, a million dollars just getting your samples, girl? You got God. You got God. And far as models, couldn't you have hit Cynthia Bailey up? Don't she owns the Bailey Modeling uh, entity? I'm like, what is going on? Is everybody having a fake store line up in this camp, or what? Does Cynthia Bailey still have a modeling agency? Because that should have been your first go-to. But that wasn't talked about. And the uh, person that's helping Sheree uh, with her fashion show, when Kenya was talking about the lineup, the people facing the wrong way to see the models run, uh, walk down the runway, you know, <laughs> she just, Kenya just have a way of getting on the people's skin, and it'd be hilarious sometimes. But that wasn't, Kenya shouldn't have been uh, that way with that lady. You know, I think she's Muslim or something. And she's wrapped around, wrapped around in her shroud and, and whatnot. And she was just doing the best she could. But baby girl got tired. She said, to have real models, you have to have a budget. I said, God damn, the help is shading Sheree now. <laughs> The help is shade and charade. And we don't even want to talk about this fictitious story. Okay. Oh, Kenya, you have no taste in men. And you don't have no taste in yourself. You keep aligning yourself with these men. I don't know. I think Sheree may have had some steroids. Uh, I, I just, I'm just saying. That butt is too 
pumped out there like that. That ain't, you know, maybe it was just a bad angle. But it seemed like she done had some work done on her ass. Okay, I'm just saying. But, you know, like I said, Tyrone, I'm like Erica Badu. You better go on Tyrone. Oh, call him. Tell him come on. Help get his. Come on, come on, come on. You better go on Tyrone. Yes. But you can't use my phone. <laughs> Y'all remember that? Woo, Hiding. I don't know what's wrong with Sheree. We know she can't pick me. She is a bad person to to hook up herself. <sighs> okay. He was a swindler. He, you know, he frauded people. And then um, this Martell, he just, uh, what do you call it? He ain't no good. He ain't no good for himself. He's just a cheater. But yeah, Sheree and Kenya was down, down at her place where I guess she's going to have the fashion show. Trying to set up the tables, trying to set up the walkway. And Kenya getting on everybody's damn nerves, okay? But I was I was done when that, when that help. When the help told Sheree she need a budget for models. I mean, you didn't you you didn't put that in your budget. You spent a hundred, well one million on samples, samples. No, that's supposed to be like finished product, Sheree. Finished product. But anyway, I don't know where this was taken or when it was taken, how it was taken, because Sheree did not have any fashions at her attempt. First time wearing <laughs> fashion, she by Sheree. But I'm thinking they're dropping pictures or photos in uh, when you Google the search. You know, she's coming up with these little uh, portraits of herself and some of her athletic jogger wear. So that's very interesting. Very, very interesting. Very telltelling as well. And yes, we're going to have the famous... Uh, what is his name? Damn, I forgot his name. Uh, what was his name, y'all? <laughs> the one that had said uh, Dwight, Dwight, Dwight. Yes, yeah, she invited Dwight to come and see her launch. It should be the first ever fashion show with her fashions. The other time, she just didn't have nothing. She just had her marquee, or marquee saying she, not Sheree. That's it. That's all she had. So hopefully, Sheree was surprised the hell out of us. And once the reunion has ended, she would give us the website to go and shop her line. And hopefully, I hope she got it for the big folks. Because if she did, I'm going to be coming back on this too, dragging her for field. Okay? Because we need our work up, workout gear as well. But we need it appropriate to our size that we are in now. Okay? Not the size we want to be later on after we've done what we had to do to lose the weight. You know? Come on, Sheree. Market to the masses, honey. Market to the masses. But Kenya was trying to help her get her shit together. And if I do recall, it was a little clip where Candy had said that the fashion show almost didn't happen again. I was like, what? I said, anything, she should have been saving her checks. Because, I mean, you could get some clothing together, if you, especially if you have a seamstress on deck. And we have a lot of uh entrepreneurs that design clothing and just as long as you have the prototype of what you want the garment to look like they can hook you up Sheree. shit i'm sure dwight knows some people in the industry that know how to put apparels together so apparels together okay you got a lot of designers here in atlanta and and up in new coming designers that would have worked with a budget that you had but, honey, when your, oh, my God, I was going to say housekeeper. But the woman that was trying to help you secure your venue as well as try to uh, tell you this is how the show is going to flow and this, that, and the third, she even said you didn't have a, she said, baby, you got to have a budget to get those models we're talking about. They cost from anywhere from 200 she said to five hundred. I know the lowest was two hundred, but I think the highest was five or seven hundred. I think an hour probably. 
And <laughs> Sheree looked at her like, what? Are they real models? No, Sheree, you can't afford anything from what it looks like. And then you're going to have the audacity to ask her, were they real models? <laughs> she should have said, yeah, baby, they come in all shapes and sizes. What is your uh, apparel going to look like? Is it geared to younger people? Is it geared to teenagers? Is it geared to uh, seasoned people, meaning the, the uh, uh, you know, the old folk? Is it geared to people that are heavy and they're trying to lose the weight, but until they lose the weight, they want to be fashion flawless with the joggers, spring something, fall collection, honey. That's what she should have said. <laughs> And Sheree wanted to get small with the lady and say, uh, what kind of budget do you need, girl? How much will these models cost? And when she said that, I don't know if the lady walked off and it was a conversation that was being had by Kenya and her. From the silence that was going on, we knew, we knew. And I, if I was, um, that was the name, um, uh, Kenya, I would have said the same damn thing when it flew out her mouth talking about, I already spent a million dollars for my samples. I would have said, honey, the, the collection people are looking for your ass too. I could believe the collection people you paying a million dollars to or people you owe, but I can't believe you dropped a million on samples. No, we need finished product. Like I said, finished product, Sheree. Stop acting all crazy and willy-nilly around here. This is your go home or uh, uh, go broke. You see what I'm saying? Go home or go broke. But that's the same. That's the same thing. Meaning go big or go home. Go big, go home, or go, go big or go broke. Either way, this is your last time talking about some Sheba Sheree shit. Okay? That's the last time, girl. Uh, and I don't know why.